Good morning, everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 canvas that I've used the Artist Law Flow acrylic um, on the edges and the corners um, to help the paint flow. And I'm just going to, today's uh, video is called Back to Basics with the Blues. And I'm going to be using all shades of blue and white, the Artist Law Flow acrylic white. Um, a lot of these paints I had already mixed up earlier, um, used them for different projects, but I will go over the colors. Um, I am using Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue today, and I'm using a, a medium blue that I had mixed up, and I'm using the uh, Artist Loft Metallic Blue and a navy blue that I had mixed up, and a color called Coastal Turquoise, and also a color called Marina. Now the Coastal Turquoise and the Marina are two colors that I mixed up from Julie Cutts of Pouring Your Heart Out. If you ever have a chance, she did two videos uh, one was for all her blue shades she uses, and another one was for her pinks. And um, I follow those recipes, and I really love the colors. So um, that's those two colors. And today I'm just going to do a simple uh, flip cup on this canvas. Like I said, back to basics with the blues. Um, flip cup is one of the first... first uh, paintings I did and I and it's just simple and I like to do it so let's get started and I have a big cup of the white here so I'm going to be adding the white in there decided to go with three cups I was thinking about four but I think I will go with three if I have negative space that's okay and I can add some some of the white paint in between and let's go over uh, pouring medium, I'm not, um, consistency here. Okay, consistency just leaves a little mound and then disappears. And my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I have added a squirt of GAC 800 in all my paints. And I don't think, I did not have to thin anything with water. I've been trying to stay away from from water and just using more flow trawl. I've noticed a lot of the artists on YouTube have been going in that direction, not adding so much water. So I, I am giving that a try. And it seems to be working out pretty well. So just no particular order I'm adding these blues. I do love blue and white together. There's just something about it. It's simple and clean, pretty. And every painting I've seen with the, the just the blue and white, I've just, my eyes been drawn to that. And I hope you all are having a good day. And this is the lightest blue that I have. Very pretty. I did not add any silicone either, but with the Floetrol, I seem to get cells somewhat. And 
Okay, ready to add a little more white here. And for, all, for you out there that are kind of new subscribers to my channel, um, I can tell you the formula that I use to figure out how much paint that you need to cover a canvas. So this canvas today is 16 by 20, and you times that, and then you divide by 28, and it turns out to be 11.42 fluid ounces. So you want to make sure you have at least that much. I usually round it up so I would need 12 ounces for today's painting. It is better to have, and I've, I'm sure you've heard this before, it's better to have too much paint than not enough. It's hard to stretch it out. The Artist Loft uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue is one of my favorite colors. And this navy is a very, very dark color here. And this is the cobalt blue here, Artist Loft cobalt blue. The other one I used was the cobalt, or excuse me, the metallic blue, Artist Loft metallic blue. Here is that, that medium blue that I had made up. Looks like I just have to catch my middle cup up here a little bit, quantity-wise. I'm filming. Bye. And I'm going to add some more white. And I think that will be it. Ready to flip them over. And if you are just starting out with the acrylic pouring, this is a nice uh, technique to start with. Probably the hardest part I've found is tipping those cups and trying to keep the paint on the canvas. Just let those sit there just a minute. Okay. Now, and you can take your extra paint in your cup you have left and you can cover your edges with it that will also help the paint run off the, the canvas easier
and you can just run some paint here and there on the canvas too because I'm going to be tipping and that will help the paint move. I see lots of cells popping up already. Okay, I'm just gonna try tipping down and back first. Get the paint to move. And as you can see, I do have a lot of paint on here today. Okay. And I will tip it down this way. and over the edge. And now I'm gonna move the paint back and forth. I'll try and get you to see most of this. Get one corner and then bring it back. And then I got the other corner and then I will bring it back. The reason I'm bringing it back is just, I'm trying to keep some integrity in the lines between the cups, but that really isn't that big of a deal to me. Okay, I'm going to try and get this corner over here. First, I'll bring the paint down again. <clears throat> and then move it over. And then bring it back. And get this corner here and bring it back. And as you can see, I'm tipping it just a little bit to try and straighten the lines again. And I'm just going to take a look at it here for the composition. I still have to get the sides. And I will tip it down. And get this side. Okay. And now I will bring it back. And I will bring it down to get this, this side down here, this end. Okay, and now I will bring it back again towards the middle. And 
and then I will take a look at it for the composition here. And I will check my sides and my corners while I'm looking at it. Cover up any corner that is does not have paint on it. And I see something in here that does not belong. Take that out. I will clean off the bottom here. It's better to clean off the bottom of your painting so it doesn't drag the paint that is on your canvas down. And as you know, those that have followed me for a long time, I do prepare my canvas. I tape the back and then I put push pins in. That way, when your painting is all dry, you're ready to finish it. If you're going to spray it or um, resin it or whatever finish you're going to put on it, it's easier to have it nice and clean on the back. Some artists feel that there's something in here too. Doesn't belong. Just a glob of paint. Some artists like the real messy look on the back of the paintings, but I I like the cleaner look if possible. Okay, I'm still looking at the composition here. And uh, I'm going to torch it to get the air bubbles out. And then I'll talk about what I do and I don't like about it. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the composition of this painting. What I strive for is when you look at a painting, uh, I like to have a focal point where your eye is going to go immediately to. And I think in this painting, it is these two, these two lines here. Different colors, yet it, you just your eye is drawn to that part and then also there are more plain areas of this painting as in here with lacing and then you have this deep blue color in here which is a nice contrast and you have the white coming in which is nice also contrast wise and this is very busy down in here it, with this the turquoise uh, medium blue color so overall, I'm pretty happy with the composition, a lot going on. And I will bring you down for a close up. And you can let me know what you think. And I am gonna take a minute to thank all of my subscribers. I'm very humbled by all the subscribers I've been getting lately and for you out there that watch me uh, religiously, if you could share my videos with others you think might like them, that would be wonderful. And I am just going to quickly torch one more time. I see a few air bubbles that I'm going to get out before I bring you down for a close-up. And if you have any comments or suggestions how I can improve my videos, I'm always welcome to that. And let's get you down now for a close up. Again, I'm going to call this one Back to Basics with the Blues. 
And this is the upper left hand corner where I had that turquoise and the medium blue come through, a little bit of white shining through there. Here is basically where that white did come through. And this is the lower left hand corner. Take you up the middle. And this is where I said, I think the eye would rest on this painting right away. I just really like those two lines, how they, how they showed up there. Very nice. And here we have the upper right hand corner. And this almost looks like planets and space and stars in that area. Pretty happy with that. Down in here, especially with that dark navy blue, very pretty. And here is the more plain area with a little bit of lacing coming, coming out there. And here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and I would check the bell. Make sure that you've chose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.